السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. To carry on with the head and neck lectures, I'm gonna discuss in this presentation the anatomy of the trigopalatine fossa and its contents. I'm Dr. Dalia Saleh, professor of anatomy at Mansoura University, Egypt. Next, we will talk about the anatomy and connection of the trigopalatine ganglia. The trigopalatine ganglia, also known as spinopalatine ganglia, it lies in the trigopalatine fossa. It is connected by two roots to the maxillary nerve. We call them the ganglionic branches. It has afferent roots and efferent branches. The roots are parasympathetic or secretomotor fibers, sympathetic or vasomotor fibers, and sensory fibers. This is the trigeminal nerve, the trigeminal ganglia, the ophthalmic nerve, the maxillary nerve, and the mandibular nerve. Here we can see in the middle ear the facial nerve, and this is the internal carotid artery. This is the trigopalatine fossa containing the trigopalatine ganglion, and this is the part of the maxillary nerve after it exits the skull through the foramen rotunda. So the parasympathetic root for the trigopalatine fossa comes from a branch of the facial nerve. It's called great superficial petrosal nerve. The vasomotor root or the sympathetic root comes from a plexus of sympathetic nerves around the internal carotid artery. It comes from the superior cervical ganglion of the sympathetic chain in the neck. This plexus then forms a nerve called deep petrosal nerve. Together, the deep petrosal nerve and the great superficial petrosal nerve, together they form a nerve called nerve of trigoid canal or vidian nerve. Together, they pass through the trigoid canal, which opens into the posterior wall of the trigopalatine fossa and join the trigopalatine ganglion. The preganglionic fibers or the parasympathetic fibers of the greater superficial petrosal nerve will pass inside the trigopalatine ganglion and relay there, and then postganglionic branches come out, while the deep petrosal nerve, because they carry the postganglionic sympathetic fibers, they pass inside the ganglion without relay. We also can see here the two ganglionic branches, which gives the sensory roots of the trigopalatine ganglion attached here to the maxillary nerve. What are the branches of the uh, trigopalatine ganglion? We have like six branches. We have the greater and the lesser palatine nerves. We have the long and short sphenopalatine nerves. We have the orbital branches and we also have a pharyngeal branch. We can see them all in this diagram. This is the greater palatine nerve. It descends in the palatine canal and then emerges here from the greater palatine foramen and we can see it here distributed to the hard palate and the mucous membrane of this area. Again, the palatine nerve gives the lesser palatine nerve here, which appears from the lesser or exit from the lesser palatine foramen and distributed to the mucous membrane of the soft palate. We have the sphenopalatine nerves which pass to the nasal cavity through the sphenopalatine foramen and they give the um, short sphenopalatine nerve to supply the mucous membrane of the um, nasal cavity over the superior and the middle uh, conchi. And we have the long sphenopalatine nerve or the nasopalatine nerve which appear here and traverse a long way to exit from the incisive canal and also supply the mucous membrane of this region. Also we have the pharyngeal branch which pass backward from the pharyngeal canal into the nasopharynx and also the orbital branches which are distributed to the orbit. And this is a summary for the connection and branches of the trigopalatine ganglion. Okay, again, this is the trigopalatine fossa containing the trigopalatine ganglion. 
its roots as we can see the sensory root from the maxillary nerve the parasympathetic root comes from the facial nerve through greater superficial petrosal nerve which joins the deep petrosal nerve containing the sympathetic fibers from the plexus around the internal carotid artery together they make what is called nerve of pterygoid canal it enter the fossa the nerve enter the fossa the parasympathetic fibers relay in the nerve cells inside the ganglion while the deep petrosal nerve or the sympathetic fibers pass without relay and then these fibers the parasympathetic and the sympathetic fibers are distributed to many structures through the branches of the trigopalatine ganglion we can see from the trigopalatine ganglion many branches uh, arise like the pharyngeal nerve the greater and the lesser palatine nerves the sphenopalatine nerve which later on gives it the short and long sphenopalatine and also the parasympathetic fibers join the zygomatic nerve which is a branch of the maxillary nerve to innervate the lacrimal gland so the post ganglionic branches are distributed as follows along the zygomatic nerve which is a branch of the maxillary nerve to the zygomatic temporal branch a communicating branch with the lacrimal nerve supply the parasympathetic uh, innervation to the lacrimal gland also along the greater and the lesser palatine nerves the parasympathetic distribution reaches the palatine glands and through the nasal branches we have innervation for the nasal glands this is the end of my presentation thanks for listening if you like it please do not forget to subscribe like and share and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified if i upload another video thank you